John chapter 3, verse 9 to 13. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you a teacher of Israel? And yet you do not understand this? If that was public, that would be a major insult Jesus just gave to an elite person. But this is a conversation Nicodemus and Jesus at night. So it's a private conversation. It's, it constitutes that Nicodemus is trying to get close to Jesus, but he can't seem to understand the light. Amen, amen, I say to you. Put myself under the curse if what I'm saying is false. We speak of what we know. And bear witness to what we, look at how the pronoun changes, we have seen. But you all, you people, do not receive our testimony, our testimony. If I have told you people earthly things, and you people do not believe in the earthly things, how can you people believe if I tell you people sky vault things? You can't even understand the earth. How am I supposed to tell you about the sky vault? No one has ascended into Sky Vault, but one has descended from Sky Vault, the Sky Vault man. Nicodemus' puzzlement leads to a further explanatory speech by the Johannine Jesus. It begins with what would be a serious insult if spoken in public. Hey, you don't get this? Hey, teacher of Israel, this is beyond you? I'm here talking about the land. I'm talking about Israel. You can't even understand that. And then I'm going to go talk to you about the sky vault. Here in private, the put down points to Nicodemus as the presumably higher status learned person who's really unqualified to assess the matters being discussed at hand. In antiquity, this sort of put down was directed at those interested in things of the sky vault, yet unable to properly understand life on earth. It's actually very common. It's found in many ancient sources, this kind of put down. Consider the following well-known instances of the contrast. Thales fell into a pit while studying the stars. He's looking up at the sky vault and was then addressed by the philosopher Diogenes, the cynic. For you, O Thales, cannot see the things at your feet, but seek to know what is in the sky vault above? That sounds a lot like Jesus and Nicodemus, right? And look at Diogenes. He's living with the dogs, okay? And he's lowly compared to Thales, see? All right, like Jesus, the peasant, compared to Nicodemus. Again, when Nectanibus sought to teach Alexander the Great astrology, by the way, Alexander has Nectanibus killed, Alexander the Great told him, Not knowing the things of the earth, you seek out the things of the sky vault. In other words, you're an ass. Cicero notes, The famous words of Achilles in the Iphigenia, The astral signs that are ob observed above, when goat or scorpion of Jove arise, these are constellations, right? Or other beasts, all gaze intent thereon, nor ever see what lies before their very feet. In other words, all are morons, they're fools. They look up and think they're going to they're gonna philosophize about the sky vault. They can't even see what's in front of them. In Jesus' case, he was speaking of injustices. Well, in the Johannine Jesus' case, he's, here it is. This is the Johannine author and community speaking through Jesus, right? They're saying, we speak about what we know, but you people don't receive our testimony. Who's you people? The people in darkness. That would be the dominant society Israel. Of course, Nicodemus is a Pharisee, an elite of the dominant society. He can't... Even if he wants to, even if you are, a, it, this is like, a, almost like a comedy. It's very ironic. It's like, here is a guy who actually does want to come to the light, even though he comes during the dark times. He wants to come to the light, but there's no hope for him to come to the light. Because, in, it, 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 well, maybe there is. We'll see as the story progresses. And this is how we progress our salvation theology. These are saved and these are not. Yeah, and that's not, and this is not really what the text is saying. What the text is saying is, it's, you know, God was stuck to the dominant society of Israel, but the dominant society of Israel just is in darkness. It just completely rejects. They don't understand. They can't get it. The darkness cannot overcome the light. 
It's, it, they stick to us like glue and honor God like we do. And they don't do that, do they? Instead, they try to kill us. This is a, a situation that was particular to the Johannine Jesus group. And, 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 and to really grasp Nicodemus, you have to kind of get the story that follows, the diptych, with John the Dunker saying, I must decrease, he must increase, right? And the whole thing with the Samaritan woman, which is then becomes so insulting that a Samaritan woman gets it. In fact, she becomes super enlightened where Nicodemus, he comes to Jesus in the dark and he leaves Jesus in the dark. He doesn't understand. This contrast is, is, is in other words, what I'm telling you is this is a stereotype contrast. This, this appears in a lot of ancient literature where you have two people or, or two, a situation where a philosopher, or, uh, a speaker, a thinker, says, look, uh, a commenter says, um, where you have a person basically saying, look, some group or some person wants to talk about the sky vault, but they can't get what's right in front of their face. So how the hell are they going to get the sky vault? You, know? you have it also in, in the Old Testament. Wisdom chapter 9, verse 16. We can hardly guess at what is on earth, but who has traced out what is in the sky vault? And consider uh, the extra-biblical work for Ezra, chapter 4, verse 2. He, the angel Uriel, said to me, Your understanding has utterly failed regarding this world. And do you think you can comprehend the way of the Most High? And finally, Seneca writes, One of the gods says to Hercules, he, Claudius, does not know what he does in his own room. And yet he gazes intently on the traces of the sky vault. So let's read that again that, that exchange between Jesus and Nicodemus. John chapter 3, verses 9 to 13. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you a teacher of Israel? And yet you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know and bear witness to what we have seen, but you people do not receive our testimony. If I have told you people earthly things and you people do not believe, how can you people believe if I tell you people sky vault things? That's the same thing. It's, just, it's like a formula. No one is ascended, and then, and then suddenly comes the narrator's comment. We really, it's, it's ambiguous who's speaking there. Is that Jesus speaking, or is that the Johannine community speaking? Probably the Johannine community. That's why the quotes go off, and it goes into italics. No one has ascended into Sky Vault, but one has descended from Sky Vault, the Sky Vault man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Sky Vault man be lifted up, that whoever believes into him may have eternal life. Given the cliche quality of this statement, right? I'm telling you about earthly things. You can't accept those. How can I tell you about sky vault things? Which we saw again and again throughout all these ancient sources. The contrast is not really between earthly information and celestial information, but rather between the questioner and the one who possesses the information. That's the contrast. Between light, Jesus, and the Johannine Jesus group, and Nicodemus, darkness, and the Judean elites. For very truly I tell you, Jesus once more emphatically puts his honor on the line. Hey, thanks for watching. Just continue the playlist for the next part of the study. If you have further questions, this is good. They will get addressed, so keep watching. If you found value, please subscribe, like, and share. As always, questions, comments, and criticisms are most welcome. God bless you.